I did today what I do on most days, which is to continue to add things to the Boston History Database. The Boston History Database is an attempt to collect all the important, significant details of Boston history in one place. I keep track of everything that I can find out about what happens in Boston. I spend six, eight hours a day on that. I do have a life, I do do other things. Uh, but it's a fascinating uh, way to spend your time. Sacco and Vanzetti, 27. Morgan versus Hennigan, 1974, the school busing case. Right now there are about 40,000 entries in it. It began as a Word document, a very long Word document. It was converted into a much longer Excel spreadsheet. It starts in, I think, uh, 15,000 BCE with the topographic formation of the, the Laurentian Glacier. It doesn't have that many entries back then. The newspaper coverage was limited. But things heat up around 1600 or so when the fishermen started coming over to Gloucester and the pilgrims were settled down in Plymouth in 1621 and William Blackstone came to the Shawmut Peninsula in 1625 and then when John Winthrop and the Puritans come in 1630, well, now we're cooking. It's a living thing and hopefully continues to be. Well, I'm pushing 70, so I could be uh, history anytime myself, and uh, I'd like to pass it on. And it's not doing me that much good sitting here in my computer. It's very interesting to know the entire history of the place that you're in. And I think the more you know about the place you're living, the more beautiful it is, the more important it is, the more significant it is, the more meaning it has for you when you're walking down the street.